Yes. All right, everybody. This show, edutainment. It is for your education purposes. It is for your entertainment purposes. We're going to marry that together. It ain't financial advice. I'm not your financial advisor. People are yahooing already. Oh, my goodness. Hello. Well, I'm glad that someone's here to cheer me up today because daddy, guess what happened? Stop going down. down. Daddy did a... A tiny bit. <laughs> daddy got chopped up today. Daddy hit his loss for the day. That means I lost my mount that I set, so I'm not going to trade anymore today. A little sad, hit my loss for today. Not happy about that. It's already, you know, only an hour and a half into the market. Uh, got chopped up a little bit. So, and this is my to-do list. You can get your to-do list. You do the intro, and let me do, take the show. Welcome to Social Media World. I'm Callie Lou, Alpha Girl Lou, and this is 8 at 8, and 8 minutes starts right <laughs> That's backwards, though. <laughs> yeah, it's backwards, though. All right, let me do this, and you can come back for the outro. Yeah. All right, everybody, we're talking about Johnson Johnson today. It is ticker symbol J&J, Johnson & Johnson, part of S&P 500, specifically part of healthcare, XLV. Uh, if you are an investor, obviously, I'm going to tell you this. Come to the, their investor relations page. It's going to tell you when they are going to report any other kind of news that they have. They should be the first one to tell you about news. If not, man, that doesn't bull ball for some of their stocks, so... Um, you didn't come here for that, but you came here for the chart. So let's see if you are a buy and hold investor with J and J. Let's see how you've done in this last little bit. And you know what? I would say you've done pretty well. Look at this. This is a, a moving average. It's still kind of above it right now. It's triggered down sellers. People started dumping it. But for the last little bit, it doesn't look like other stocks that are, have gone down tremendously. It's still holding its value. The high was 186, it's dipped down to 171. So I would say it's one of the stronger stocks that have held through this pandemic, through this recession. So it's a good play. But in terms of this huge, big candles, and you see we've had some big, big, big candles, let's see what the opportunities are for swing trading, right? So if we're gonna go to a daily chart, not a monthly chart for swing trading, as you can see, it's you know steadily gone up. It's had some ups and downs, but let's zoom into ooh, let's zoom into this part right here. Boom, just like that. We have an opportunity, or had an opportunity in the last couple of days to buy a dip. As you can see, uh, I'm gonna highlight this. Oh, you know it's pretty. You know, let's do this. Let's, no, come on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, scroll. There you go. That's a little bit better. So we had an opportunity to buy the dip and let's talk about these dips. You dip, I dip right here. Boom. This was what date? It was July the 20th, just a couple of days. So last week it had this down, 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 down. Now it's kind of bouncing up. It's steadily climbing, climbing. Will it reach the 175 mark? That's pretty, uh, ooh. The trajectory is on, it's 173. Yeah, I could hit 175. Uh, it's got a, bust through this candle. I honestly, I think, yeah, 175 is what you're probably targeting. Uh, $2 away from the current price right now. And if you did get at 170, 175, that's pretty good. A $5 swing on a wonderful swing trade right there. So the strength is going up. So that's why I also say, yeah, that's pretty good and possible right there. Look at that. Strength is there. It's still not quite above the 50. And these lines, ooh, even though that it is kind of negative, I'm gonna, I still have to highlight this red because if you look at this, the lines, I don't know if you can see that there, the lines here are still below the zero. So that means, you know, momentum is down. Uh, and also uh, these are turning dark red. So there's, you know, weakening, slowing uh, of it. Uh, going down, but it is going the right direction. Hopefully it kind of turns just like this dark red to green and it pops and it pops up, but it's starting to head that way. These lines are starting to curl as well. So that's a good sign. You don't have that crossover yet, 
But once you have that crossover, then it could go definitely up to, to 75. So that's what I see for Johnson and Johnson. But what is going to move this stock? So that's just wishful thinking. That's, you know, anticipation. That's not what's really happening. But if we have some catalysts, that could move us. So let's take a look at number one catalyst is earnings. And when did they, they do the earnings? They already did their earnings July 19th. Uh, we were expecting 2.5. They gave us 2.5. Nope, I'm blocking it. 2.59 right under me, giving us a little upside surprise. So that's why it's given us a little bit of a pop. It was going down until earnings. And then after earnings, now we got a little pop. So what can move it today? Today, wow, 281 earnings, 34 stocks, but two IPOs, 52 economic events. Out of those economic events, let's take a look at ones that are going to move us today. So here, U.S., ugh, there's a lot of U.S. right here. So most of it is to do with building the, the case Schiller, uh, the Schiller P20. I never look at the Schiller, but I usually look at the Schiller P.E., uh, that is price to earnings ratio sales. Uh, the Fed is also coming out. This is all at two and one o'clock Eastern time uh, as well. So we can expect a little bit of a, a move there as those reports kind of come out at that time. So check the markets at that time, uh, one o'clock, two o'clock Eastern time uh, to move the markets. But what else in the news? Johnson & Johnson Pretty light on the news. I think some people are buying, some people are dumping. Uh, it is a mixed bag these days right here. So not, a little bit of a nothing burger. Uh, the earnings already came out, so I don't see it having some big catalysts uh, moving the stock. So let's just go straight to our intraday charts. Just like that, that's quick when there's nothing in the news. So here, we're gonna take a Fibonacci. We're taking the lows, 169, we're gonna take the highs, 173, which was today. Look at that, it hit those highs today for the week. And now we're, we just bounced off this 172, right smack dad in the middle, kind of where VWAP is at 173. So we're gonna zoom in here. So like we said, we could test this 173 if the market is gonna go with that today. The market is kind of down. So I see this as being a, a, probably a good ceiling to hit the highs of the day. Uh, with another high at once uh, 73.40 right here. I'd probably try to test this, maybe even break VWAP, break this 172, head it back down uh, to lows of day, 172.50. Crystal ball, right now we're going to hit some resistance as we get up to right there, maybe even right here, 173.42. I think we're going to head back down to the downside. Just because that's what the market has been doing. We're going to make another top here. We can see this head. Oh, look at this head and little shoulders. And once this shoulder is complete, so this is one shoulder, that's the head, that's the one shoulder. I think we're headed down to the downside. So 172, you're looking as to hold a floor. But I think I think you could break down past this 172.86, get down to 172.27. And that's my... Crystal ball analysis for J and J for today as we are chopped up. Look at this. As you can see, this is what happened to me today too as well. Going up, going down, going up, going down, going up. And this is all within the first 20 minutes. Look at this. In the first 20 minutes of opening, it goes up, psychs you back down. It goes up, psychs you back down. Uh, that usually happens one time, not two, but not three times. Uh, before seven o'clock, suddenly down in the half an hour, then picking a direction. So I got chopped up today. I'm not really happy about that. I hope you guys have better trading uh, as well than me. Uh, but today I'll take it off, reflect, and get back at, at it tomorrow. So with that said, we're rolling some outros. And I put on sunblock. Cat's putting on sunblock, if you heard that. But, uh, yeah, summertime, you got to watch out. The volume isn't as big as it is. So those big moves happen really quickly. Then it corrects itself. And I got chopped up this morning. Looking for some better days here. It's been a rough week for me. I've had more losing days this week than winning days. And I'm really looking forward to uh, some green days for me as well. So if you're out there, you wish me luck. I need some more green days.
and I'm changing my schedule. She's changing her schedule. All right, with that said, we are rolling out of here. Everybody, you guys enjoyed the minute exit intro. I'm closing down this down uh, as I don't want to mope around too much, but I got to pick up my spirits. Make a Hey, that's not cool, Robert Frost. Mommy does it to us, so we could do it. Mommy says we could do it. I'm hoping that's an old makeup brush. Okay. It never been used with makeup. Good. So you're using the makeup brush to put on suntan lotion. That's what mommy does. Okay. Ladies. And also, mommy doesn't never come on here. Nope, she doesn't. Mommy's a mommy's a good introvert. She doesn't like to do those kind of things. Lower down that volume for us. It's the same for you guys. Bye bye. 30 seconds, I guess we stayed here with you. Everybody, Cat Cat still has got to do some summer reading club. She hasn't done all that she has set up to do. Uh, so yeah, we'll have to get her getting to do some good reading. And me too. All right, everybody. Peace out. Send me some love today. I really need it uh, on down days. Love you guys.